going to be a battle this Thursday. She is the WBC Silver Champion. Born and raised in East LA. and they call her super bad. Fight week is the most stressful and the most, uh, just the time where you just have to be 100% focused. Focus on the game plan and not worrying about anything else. Come fight week, I'm 100% focused on what I have to do to win. <laughs> Something that people don't know about me, and every time they hear it, they get like super surprised, is that I get like extremely nervous before a fight, um, where like my palms are sweaty, my feet are sweaty, and I'm just like, just major anxiety. And um, I've, I've always been like that. Like I've had over a hundred amateur fights, and every single fight, I've always felt the same way. And as a professional, still get just as nervous, probably even worse because it's the pros. So it's different, you go home and you're on, you have smaller gloves, so um, yeah, I think that's something that people don't really know about me, or like, they don't really expect it, just because I go out there and I do so well when I'm fighting, but little do they know that I'm a nervous wreck for a fight. But I think that's what makes me better, because being nervous, it gives you, it gives you that like, it just makes you cautious, and it makes you want to. I get nervous, I think, because I, know how well I can perform and I want to perform to my best abilities. So that's what makes me nervous is just making sure that like I perform to my fullest potential. I'm not only thinking about how I'm going to win, but I'm thinking about the cause and effects of everything in the fight. Like if I throw a jab, what is she going to do? There you go. Break it, break it. There you go. That's what you have to do. Good. I'm stepping up this way to the right. You're giving me too much to side your head. To counter, what is her reaction going to be? Just constantly just replaying in my mind just everything. If you don't do the right things against a fighter like this, it'll make you sloppy. Like once it gets sloppy, it's hard to make it. It's like tangling something up. Then you have to untangle it again. You've got to make sure that you go in there and do all, throw your punches correctly, nice and straight. Yeah, this fighter has a certain style that can um, turn, a, turn a fight into something that uh, looks very sloppy or can turn a fighter who's really good into looking bad. Yeah, very sloppy, comes in with her head, she leans forward a lot, throws punches, jumps in, you know, that could cause a headbutt or something anything like that. So her and Coach Dean have been working, they have a plan for that, so hopefully it works. But yeah, she's gone the distance with a lot of world champions. Yes, and you know she's she's had a, she has a few belts herself, so uh, really as long as Cindy sticks to the game game plan, stays confident and patient, she'll be okay. She just has to fight her fight. Just depends on how you go about it and how you defend yourself from certain things that she does. You got to make sure that you go in there and do all throw your punches correctly, nice and straight. So no matter how sloppy she gets, it's gonna it's gonna be a detriment to her by being sloppy, getting caught. With, you know, she throws like wild punches over the top, catching her with a left hook on the inside, the straight right hands when she comes rushing in, stepping out step like a bull, moving to the side, around the sides of the ring, making the girl fall in. And once she does that, then you turn and you start, you, you accommodate to her body and stuff like that. So there's certain punches I've been working on that she throws that I'm gonna be staying away from, and certain defensive moves that I'm gonna do in order to, um, be able to attack right away, which is um, which is part of the game plan, and also going to be trying to um, push my opponent back because she can be effective coming forward. But um, I know that if I um, 
push her back and do other certain things that are in the game plan, I'll definitely come out with the victory and uh, hopefully make it as simple as possible. You gotta work the body, that's real important. I've noticed a lot of women don't take body shots that well because a lot of them don't throw body shot, body punches. They usually head hunt. This girl's no different, so hopefully we wear her out early to the body. When I was watching Sanita fight the last time, her trainer, he was awesome. You know, the last fight I seen her down in Mexico and, and uh, she was throwing a lot of body punches. In fact, in the sixth round, her opponent couldn't come out. If she was done, the body punches killed her. And when you, she would hit, hit that body, you could hear it. You, you could hear it out, out in the eighth row. You go, boom, you go, boom. I, I wouldn't want to get hit by her. <laughs> so needs to get stop her, that would be great. But if it goes 10, you know, she's ready to go 10. Fight week for the last three to five days leading up to the fight. Something that I'm used to. <laughs> I mean, it gives me a little bit of anxiety and stress. It's just part of, part of the game, part of being a fighter. Knockout time, baby. The side struggles, just like distractions. Random distractions leading up to fights, like we were driving to the arena and, and my tire blows out on the freeway. It was unbelievable. We were like, wow, like somebody does not want us to fight today. Finally, it's time kept passing and nobody was helping us and we didn't have a spare tire. So the promoter calls and he says, hey, you guys have 15 minutes to get to the arena or you're not fighting. And I was like, oh my goodness. So finally, these guys stopped to help us. And my dad was like, you know what, just can you, my daughter's about to fight. Like they're gonna, they're gonna uh, cancel her fight if she doesn't get to the arena in 15 minutes. Can you guys please just take us? It's just like two exits away. They're like, all right, jump in the car. So they take us and then my dad's like, just leave the car on the freeway. We don't care, like just leave it there. Like we left the car on the freeway because um, we, we just wanted to get to the arena and fight. And we get to the arena, my cup man wraps my hands and it, he literally does it in like five minutes. It was like the fastest hand wrap job I've ever seen. Didn't have a chance to warm up, walked right in the ring, got like the second round knockout. So um, yeah, that just goes to show that there's just so many distractions that can happen or so many things that can go wrong leading up to a fight or before a fight, or right before a fight. <laughs> um, but if you just have that mental toughness and you're just, no matter what, you're mentally prepared, um, nothing can stop you. No distractions can, can stop you at all. Spent the weekend sick. Spent three days uh, taking Robitussin and just binge watching Friends on Netflix. I was a little worried because I didn't want to have to go into the ring uh, fighting sick again because I did that a couple times already. And uh, it sucks, it kind of just throws off your whole mood and your whole training schedule. You know, you just don't feel 100% while you're training. Just got us a Robitussin. Here we go again with the sickness. Just today, this morning, she woke up with a freaking cold again, with a, I mean, with a cough. It'll be her fourth fight going into like this, man. What is it? I don't know. She's like every time. Severe cough and no, she says just her throat and her ear and then, and this side of the ear where her throat hurts. Woke up this morning. Thank God. Feeling good. Feeling great feeling strong and, and ready. Things like that happen. Sometimes you're not gonna always fight 100%, whether it's something wrong with you physically or you're mentally off, you just gotta overcome it. She says she felt better. So, you know, to, she made the decision to fight, so that was, you know, that shows her heart. What would I say to the fighter? Um, no, I don't wanna say anything to her. <laughs> I'm just so proud of her, and I know she's bringing it, all of it. So anybody that fights her better know she's bringing all of it.